Hello, it's Monday at noon and it's time for Stories Come Alive. And what that means is, is that I'm reading to you from this beautiful book, the D. Gary Young book, The World Leader in Essential Oils. And this is the story of this man who his whole life's work has been bringing us these precious essential oils, not only to us Young Living users, but bringing awareness to the world about essential oils. And last week after sharing with you, I felt this overwhelming need to get permission from Gary and Mary to read to you this story out loud on social media. And so I did just that. And Mary's response was when I asked her um, for her permission via email, she said, absolutely. It's an amazing story and I'm thrilled that you are taking it on personally. There's no one like Gary and he will become a legend with what he has created. So all of you out there, I hope people that don't even know Young Living, that people that are exploring and wondering what the hype is about essential oils and are looking at them at the grocery stores, and I hope you're watching too, and I hope you realize that we're very passionate about the true quality and purity and safety of our essential oils, right? And we're really into health and wellness, and we're here to share how they got kind of reacquainted, reintroduced in America through this man, D. Gary Young. So I also want to read to you the dedication uh, or the introduction of the book today. We're going to do chapter two, but I want to do the introduction as well because it's written by this adorable lady, Mary Young. And so there's their picture, and I'm going to read it to you. A pioneer in his own right, D. Gary Young has spent the last 30 years of his life researching ancient ways and traditional methods of distilling from the last century. He has sadly watched the true art of distillation slowly being lost to fast extraction with modern equipment and chemicals. Plant care has gone to chemical fertilizers and pesticides that have weakened plant immunity and reduced the quality of the oil, causing lower levels of chemical constituents and even losing many valuable compounds. Nutrient depleted soil is unattended, resulting in weaker plants and loss of quality. Rural facilities without financial means remain crude and inefficient often producing a lower yield and lesser quality. Some older distilleries in more remote areas of the world fuel fireboxes with old tires, wood, and often garbage to heat cookers made of carbon steel, which are most undesirable for plant extraction of essential oils. High-tech laboratories both recreate chemical molecules to add for increased volume and or manipulate the chemical composition for a more pleasant smell for a greater marketing advantage. A true, unadulted, pure essential oil as God intended is difficult to obtain as even many growers and distilleries operators are lured into the practice of adulteration because of the desire for money and power. You know, we all want more, 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 right? Not us, not Young Living. We want quality. From the time of his accident and his discovery of essential oils, D. Gary Young has committed to his research and the true art of distillation. Having used the oils to support his own personal journey and that of many others, he knows the difference between the pure and the adulterated, which has made his path very precise. Purity and quality of the oils are the most important to him regardless of the time and money that it takes to produce the desired results. This book is a compilation of many things happening in many parts of the world, often at the same time. An exact chronolo chronology, I can't say that word right now, is impossible to write as new activities continually transpire at the same time in different locations. The reader will jump back and forth from farm to farm with the development of the crops in the distillery. This historical journey also recounts the early years and life experiences of D. Gary Young that has given him the foundational experience and knowledge for the path that he has taken and how he acquired so many skills that have enabled him to accomplish so much in the development of his farms, distillation, and becoming a world leader in essential oils. 
The farms have been visited by tens of thousands of people and many have participated in various aspects of harvesting, distilling, bottling, and seedling, planting, reforestation. Sure, some of the pictures are not the best resolution because they are old and taken with old cameras. And because of the low resolution, they cannot be enlarged. But I thought a lower quality picture was better than no picture. I agree. <laughs> May you enjoy your educational experience in learning about how aromatic plants are grown and distilled and come to a greater understanding about the decision you make when you choose an essential oil. I am one of those. When you're a part of Young Living Essential Oils, we get to go to the farms. And we are invited and we are encouraged to spend time on the land with the plants. And I have to say it's some of my fondest memories. And as we go through this book, you will see some pictures of me because I have done it. I have been part of reforestation. I have been part of harvest. I have been part of picking and planting. So this is a really exciting journey for those of us that take it seriously and want purity in our lives. So let's find out more about D. Gary Young's path to recovery. And that's the chapter today. Recovery, Mexico and a new path of discovery. So here we go. He moved to Southern California where he continued with his education by enrolling in naturopathic college. At the same time, he opened a small office in Chula Vista, California, and built a research center for physical and emotional well-being in Rosarita Beach in Baja, California, Mexico. His single desire was to help people find answers and solutions to their own problems. Through 13 years of constant debilitating pain and frustration, Gary went from a wheelchair to a walker to crutches to a cane to very painful slow walking. But walking again, as painful as it was, kept him determined to discover new possibilities of healing. During this time, Anne Marie brought her sister from Switzerland, who was not doing well, to, research, to the research center to see if she could find some help. Anne Marie had grown up working in the natural health products industry and her own lab had her own laboratory and formulated various health products. She had been studying essential oils for many years and was very interested in their health benefits. She gave Gary some research that had she had translated from French about essential oils because she felt he would be interested and then invited him to attend a conference that was taking place the following week in Geneva, Switzerland where medical doctors were presenting their research on essential oils and their effects of respiratory illness. Now, I want to pause there and do a side note. She invited him from Baja, Mexico to Switzerland to a conference. And we sometimes as messengers of wellness and essential oils, why would we be afraid to invite someone to our home that lives next door? or down the street. She invited someone to go to Switzerland. She invited Gary Young. Guess what? He went. <laughs> that was the beginning of his path that had led to thousands of discoveries about essential oils and the immense possibilities they offer for physical, emotional, and spiritual application. So down here in this little corner picture, you see three bottles. Do you see them? Can you see what they say? Yes, we still have these products today. Some of Gary's first supplements infused with essential oils in 1986. Comfort Tone, ICP, and Juva Tone. Fall is the perfect time to explore these products, my friends. So if you don't know about these products, look them up. Uh, Comfort Tone and ICP, great time of year to explore them. Juva Tone, lovely, explore. So the next page is full of pictures. So here we go. Let me show you as I read to you. Gary had fun recording Donna Riley, Clint Walker from the movie series Cheyenne and his wife Gigi singing together while at the research center. The marquee in Bona, Bonita, California in 2008 still showed Gary Young's Life Wellness Center. And I love this picture. Let me make sure you see it. <laughs> I love Gary's laboratory where much discovery and learning took place. 
He really knows what he's talking about. Look at the time. Look at the laboratory. Look at what he was researching and how. Now, one thing I also love about Young Living is there's what we call balance. And some people know that balance is is really challenging to achieve. And in this setting, this is the way I like to talk about balance. It's some ways people overuse that word. They overuse the word saying that they can balance certain things that don't necessarily go on opposite sides of the scale. But one thing that Young Living is really good at doing and Gary Young is really good at doing is balancing work and play. He works extremely hard and he plays extremely hard and there is always balance, right, in that. So check it out. <laughs> I think this is fun. Gary's research center was beautiful and there was always time for relaxation and entertainment. So work hard, play hard. So in this industry, I like to say we plurk. We play and we work and our play is our work and we combine it together. This lower picture is the office manager organizing Gary's original apothecary where many herbs were ground from plants gathered on weekend excursions. So check out the jars. Aren't they great? Awesome. So fun. So this next picture, Gary welcomes Dr. Bernard Jensen and his wife Marie in 1986. So let's read from there. I'm going to set the book down for a minute. I have two books going on here. Gary was invited by the French medical doctors to travel to France and join them as they made rounds in the hospitals in which they were conducting their research. Gary was fascinated and driven to learn more. His questions were endless as this new world continued to open his mind to greater understanding and new possibilities. He returned home from France with 13 oils and began experimenting with them to discover and learn more about their usage and application. What do we say? Take one oil at a time, right? One week at a time. Those of you that came to the balance retreat, I gave you the homework of a relationship journal with your oil, one oil a day, right? Well, Gary came home with 13 oils to figure it out. There are no books available written. There were no books available written in English about essential oils let alone anything on usage and application. And the French medical doctors were publishing in journals that were only in French. This truly put Gary on the frontier of essential oil science as he began to discover what oils and oil combinations to use, what worked better and how to apply them. With no written information in the U.S., no internet, and virtually no one with any conclusive experience, the frontier was his. Do you hear that? Do you like to go to the root of your issues and find the truth? Do you like to go to the root of a product and find the root? That's what Gary was doing. He went to the root of the product, he went to the root of the plant, and he wrote the information. So all these other companies out there that are giving you information in English in this world, guess where it came from? Young Living Essential Oils, Gary Young. That should be big to hear. So he boldly went forward against tremendous criticism and warnings, determined to unlock the hidden mysteries of this ancient science that he instinctively understood. Instinctively understood. Sometimes God gives you a knowing. He was gifted. He even began infusing his herbal formulas with essential oils as w and was impressed with the increased uh, uh, efficacy of the supplements. He felt so much excitement that he wanted to share his findings with the world. But the world was not ready for this discovery. And people laughed at him, slandered him, and told him it was impossible to do what he was doing. But the few who had been using Gary's new products infused with essential oils began to spread the word. Messengers. And more and more people wanted what he had. 
he decided to sell his research facility and start his own marketing company. The demands were increasing and he felt a new passion growing inside. He could teach many more people at the same time when he could, than he could by helping one person at a time day after day. The experience he had gained was tremendous and now he wanted to teach and share his new knowledge to begin a new chapter. He did a lot of experimenting with his first oils he brought home from Europe and made many exciting discoveries. His thirst for more knowledge heightened with a desire to study distillation. With his farming background, he had a natural interest in the growing, harvesting, and extraction of the oils from the aromatic plants, adding a new path of research and discovery. Thank goodness he did. It seemed that France was the place to go, but he didn't know anyone there and didn't have the slightest idea how to make a contact besides the fact that the French were not open to sharing their secrets. French lavender was their claim to fame and they didn't want anyone else, especially an American, getting involved or interfering. Gary flew to France a couple of times a year determined to learn about distillation. He carried a backpack and a sleeping bag prepared for anything. After all, he grew up in the mountains and comfort was not a consideration. In a small rental car, he drove the countryside looking at the fields and distilleries from the roadside. He found a few people who spoke English, but there was little they would tell him which created a lot of frustration. So I've been on that trail with Gary Young back in 2000. I gotta think, when did I go to France, Provence with Young Living? 2012, I wanna say? Might have been 2011, right around there. And we got on a bus and it was pretty funny because, story time, right? Pretty funny because when you have a travel company taking hundreds of people, I think there are probably a hundred of us um, from Young Living that made the trip. And we were in Nice and we had four buses and we're loaded up the buses and the tourist company that, you know, you hire to manage all of this wanted us to go sightseeing. Gary was like, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> he gets out of the bus. He grabs all the, the tour guides out of the bus and he says, yeah, no, we're not doing that we're going on Gary Young's sightseeing tour. And we went up into the mountains, headed to Provence, France, to our farm there, our Young Living farm there. And along the way, it was so awesome, we stopped at all these roadside ancient distilleries that he studied in his path. And they were all there, overgrown, not functioning, but they're still sitting there with weeds growing around them. You know, we're, we're tracking weeds as, we, as he's teaching about them. And not only did he take us to the distillers on the, on the roadsides, but his favorite spots. Like there's a place where him and I stood on this bridge looking over this beautiful picture of flowers along a river. And he said, just take it in, Pam. Just stop right here and take it in. Breathe in the air. Take in the flow of the water. What do you hear? What do you smell? What do you see? He's such an amazing man. And I will post that picture. I will find that picture for you and post this picture. But I have to just share with you the integrity and the humility of knowing this man and knowing this story. So thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and thank you for getting this book and sharing it with others. It's big. So let me show you the pictures on this side of the page. So this is Dr. Jensen, well known for his research in health and natural healing. He presents Gary with one of the most popular books, Iridology. And then here's what's funny. So how I, my very first oil was the oil of sage back in 1999, 1998 maybe. And it was at a store that had iridology appointments. And I was just kind of playing around with health for my um, 
child that was diagnosed with special needs and I was really playing around with my own health and I walked in this storefront and they're like oh iodology appointments they're only twenty dollars I walked in I got an iodology appointment and I walked out with a bottle of sage and it was not Young Living I don't even remember the brand and that was my first introduction to these little bottles I didn't know what I really had in my hand but I knew it smelled good and I mostly used it for inhalation but it opened that was my first open door to a true well a, a bottle of essential oils um, I'm not sure of the purity or any of that but I'm grateful for that experience and it's funny that it came through iodology here's another picture Gary was fascinated with the live cell and dark field microscopy so live and dried blood analysis looking at what happens after applying an essential oil or using a supplement um, a lot of times natural natural pass will use this as a tool and this last picture typical old French distillery no longer in use that's what I'm talking about do you see that yep that's the kind of things we were looking at along the way so this is a short chapter there's a few more pictures here there was a lot of excitement as young living started to grow oh that's for next week next week guess what chapter comes the birth of young living so you got to be here next week or catch the recording because that's the chapter we're on the third chapter in the d gary young book so i hope my stories my adjuncts to the story are exciting to you to know that it's real and I hope anyone that is playing with essential oils right now takes a moment to find me or someone you know that is using Young Living essential oils. Let us put an oil in your hand from Young Living and let us show you the difference. Let us show you these years and years and years of research and farming that go to our seed to seal process that are unfolding in this story. All right, I, we're here for you. So catch me on funlovingwellness.com or you can find it funlovingoils.com. We have events in my area and all across the globe. Um, and I would love to see you. I would love to see you at a balance retreat. I'm one of the core faculty. We'll be in San Diego next week for that. Check that out at youngliving.com forward slash events. And get this book, lifesciencepublishers.com. All right, so thanks for watching, and I love spending story time with you. Have a good day.